All right, so we're going to be finding the x and y intercepts of a slope intercept line. Now, the benefit of a slope inter intercept line is it's called slope intercept because it actually tells you one of the intercepts. So um, this number right here would be our y intercept. Okay, so usually on other videos and stuff, when it talks about finding the intercept, what it means is in order to find the y, you make x into 0. Well, the reason why you can just say it's 3 is if I make x 0, I'd have 1 half times 0, which is nothing, so I'm left with just 3. So that's why on these types of rules, when it's in this form, you can just look at the y-intercept. So this one, for example, would be 0, 3. Okay. Uh, now I have to find the x-intercept. So as I just said, if I want to know what x is, I have to set the y to 0. So that means that I'm going to turn this into a 0. And so if I turn that into a 0, I get left with this little two-step equation. Now, just to be aware, I'm going to go ahead and do my additive inverse on that. But you should know that most of the time it's, it's very common for you to actually get a fraction for an x-intercept. All right, I don't think it's going to happen this time. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplicative inverse on this. So 2 over 1, 2 over 1, we get negative 6. Now, another mistake that, it depends on what your teacher says, but do understand that you could say the x-intercept is negative 6, but other times your teacher wants to know where it is, so you have to write this as an ordered pair. So x is negative 6, and remember we did set y to 0, so this would be a 0. So our x-intercept is negative 6, 0. Our y-intercept is 0, 3. So here's another example right here. So again, in order to do my y-intercept, there it is right there. So x would be 0, and y would be 5. Y-intercept, piece of cake on these guys. So on this one right here, I'm going to set this y to 0. And then I'm going to write the rest of the equation out. And I'm trying to figure out x. So I'm going to do my additive inverse on the 5. Subtract that from both sides. And negative 5 equals negative 2x. So you can already tell here that this is going to result in a fraction. But that's fine. Um, it's not really a big deal at all. So this is going to be 5 over 2. And again, um, you could say the x-intercept is 5 over 2, but you could say that the x-intercept is at 5 over 2, comma, 0. And that is how you find the x and y-intercepts of a line in slope-intercept form.